Hey everybody, Mark here from Tactical T-Shirts and um, wanted to take an opportunity to answer a question that uh, someone posed on john1911.com. Uh, they wanted to know what I thought of takedown guns. Are they worth it or are they a gimmick? Bottom line is, I think they're worth it. Now, you know, if you don't have a use for it or you're never going to use it and you're just going to put money down you know, for something you never, it's never going to even use it. I mean, that's, that's not, it's a gimmick. I mean, at least make it worth, worth your while. Here is the takedown gun that we have. This is a, originally a Marlin, I guess, 1895. Is it, yeah, 1895? 4570. I can't remember 1894, 1895. I think it's 18, I can't remember. The 4570. So stainless steel Marlin, made by Marlin, you know, pretty standard gun. This has been upgraded by a company known as Wild West Guns at Anchorage, Alaska. They now have a shop in uh, uh, Las Vegas. So some of you may be familiar with them from a TV show. Uh, I, I don't know if it's still on or not called Wild West Guns. So anyway, um, this is uh, 4570, 457 Wild West, also known as 4. 57 Magnum, which is the slang term for it, and 410, single load 410 shot shells. Uh, this gun overall um, is, uh, the barrel is uh, 17 inches. I measure it. I don't know if you measure it from the threads, if technically it's 18, but to me it's 17 inches. It's 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 ported. Uh, it's got an upgraded large uh, loop lever, which is actually a very very worthwhile upgrade even if you um are going to go the takedown route if you have the option to get a large loop lever for your uh, lever gun i think you should do it i think they're worth it um fiber optic front sight uh very effective with a uh with a kind of a, uh spartan kind of you know partial hood uh you know to go on it um upgraded rear peep with a with a little ghost and some guards. It is adjustable. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's got a scout rifle scope base. Uh, this is Wild West proprietary. Uh, I think Loophole makes a long eye relief scope that is even silver that would match this gun. I'm not a big scout scope guy, but you know, there's people that are. It, it you know, it comes onto the gun. Um, the receiver is drilled for regular weaver pick rail where you can mount a traditional scope on it if you want uh the overall length of this gun is 36 and a half inches from the crown to the toe so it's a fairly short short gun already which you know is pretty handy um laminated wood um is it the most durable no the most durable would be 100 percent synthetic but this is pretty durable. I don't know if this would, I don't know how wet you'd have to get this to get it to swell or to warp, but I mean, it's basically, you know, almost like an, it's so, it's so infused with lamination. I mean, it's almost synthetic. So, um, this heavy Packmire pad on it, very effective, very handy. Um, uh, magazine capacity of this gun is four plus one. Now here's a downside. I just checked with, um, Wild West guns. The MSRP, the MSRP on this gun, I assume delivered with a, they give, they, they supply the donor gun is thirty two seventy seven. dollars Yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, here's the good news, at least for us. We didn't pay anywhere near that. We got this gun from a air officer, uh, a police officer that flies in the air, you know, bear, uh, what they call it, a uh, bear in the air from Smokey and the Bandit, police officer that uh, worked uh, for the air division of a very, very large major police department. And he is looking at the future and uh, looking at his gun collection and either becoming concerned that, you know, maybe in his estate or whatever that the, the hippies and the commies would confiscate stuff out of his his gun collection that maybe his children wouldn't want, or he's afraid to outright ban it. So he was kind of thinning down the herd to just a few guns that he's actually going to use day to day or, you know, 
up to the moment that, you know, he's giving up having a gun collection and just having one or two or three guns. So um, not much use for a 4570 in a large coastal city with millions of people. So um, he put this up for sale and I snatched it up. Um, it was unfired, so we got a good deal on it. We didn't, you know, we didn't... Um, we didn't, uh, you know, pay anywhere near of what what the MSRP is on this. Um, a friend of mine uh, that I, th I thought was interesting. A lot of people don't like the on these new Marlins. They don't like the push button cross bolt safety that's on these. And you know, because traditionally on these lever guns, let's put it off safe. On these lever guns uh, or older guns, the original safety is that. You know, and but hey, it's what the gun came with. But a good friend of mine who was a cowboy action shooter made a very good point about that cross bolt safety. He said one thing he likes about the cross bolt safety is this is safety on, is you can dry fire the gun and not actually damage the firing pin. I guess the theory is people smarter than me would know this. You're not really supposed to dry fire these lever guns, I guess the way the firing pin is set up in them. I don't claim to understand all that, but a um, buddy of mine, he actually told me, he, you know, who's a big cowboy guy, he actually told me that these, uh, you know, that was, it, all things being equal, he would he would prefer that. Um, let's see here. Now, I guess I better show you the, the takedown feature here. I'm going to try to do this. Well, so the take it the take it apart, open the action. You need to unthread the magazine tube. Okay. So let me try to do this on camera because it's not as easy to do. So So there we go. I don't want to vibrate the camera too hard. All right. So here is the overall length of both pieces. That is a pretty small package. Um, you know, I mean, if one of the rules of the whole point of firearms is for a gun to make a difference is it's important to have one. And if a takedown gun is going to mean that it's easier to keep somewhere or travel with it or store it somewhere. That's a good thing. Um, also, something else to consider, and this is where uh, my the the original owner of this of this firearm, uh, you know, was was probably thinking. You know, a lot of these cowboy lever old timey guns, they don't they're non threatening to people. I mean, they're not politically incorrect now. As soon as I say, you know, some comment about, well, you know, AR, evil black rifle, not politically correct, you know, somebody's going to chime in and kind of be a douchebag and, you know, make, you know, make the comment. But look, you know, if you live in L.A. or some big ass city and, you know, people frown on the ARs, they might be less inclined to give this a second look. Also, these guns and pistol calibers have a fair amount of firepower. Um, something to consider. This is 4570, but I do know that there are versions of this gun, 357 and 44, that, man, 10, 11, 12, 13 rounds, maybe, depending on how long the barrel is. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of rounds. Um, you know, so just something to, you know, keep in mind. And the people that don't like the whole non-politically correct thing, those same people, if you ever were to throw out the phrase, well, maybe you should be the gray man and not attract attention, they're like, yeah, I'll be the gray man. But, you know, oh, you bring up the evil black rifle conversation and, you know, their logic goes out the window. Just, you know, whatever, a little hypocrisy and, and all that. So, um, so yeah, take down guns, good thing. Um, You'll pay for them, but, you know, they've been making takedown guns. You don't have to get one of these fancy, you know, crazy Jim West, Wild West guns to get a takedown gun. They've been making these kind of guns in takedown models for over 100 years. 
and it's nothing to just find some that are uh, that are come you know that are already from the from the original maker is takedown models. Um, there's all kinds of uh, takedown guns, and I think it's um I think it's a very underappreciated and underutilized segment of the firearms community these days. Um, everybody wants the tactical black whatever guns, but you know it's you know it's about having the right tool for the job and. You can really make an argument that a takedown gun, you know, depending on what you're trying to do or trying to accomplish, that could really, that could, that could, you know, that could really make a big difference. So hopefully that answers the question. Uh, if you uh, liked this video and you kind of want to support what we're doing, don't forget to uh, go to our t-shirt page. That's tacticalt-shirts.com. That's tactical, T-S-H-I-R-T-S.com. If you want to see some photographs of this gun. I'll um, I'll take some photographs uh, and post them with this video. Go to our blog page. That's uh, john1911.com. It's j-o-h-n-1911.com. And just remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. And everybody have a good day.